Okay, I'm going to speak briefly on this Carly Russell person. Now, when I first heard this, I completely ignored it. I ignored it because black females have a history of lying. They have a history of lying. Even when it comes to you are not the father. So when I heard this, it's, it's almost like I really didn't care because it reminded me of Jesse Smollett. This is somebody that just wanted attention. But check this out though. When I read the article, the very first thing I noticed that they found was her cell phone, her wig, her Apple Watch, which was in her purse, just that quick someone abducted her and made her take off her Apple Watch. These are all items that can be tracked. Apple products can be tracked. Find my iPhone. And on my find my iPhone or find my is your MacBook, Apple Watch, iPhone, and even if you have an iPad, all of those items you can track. So she wanted to make sure that you weren't able to track her. The second thought that came to my mind, it was dark out. As you see on this image, it's dark. So you mean to tell me that she's got better eyes than everyone else that were driving? That she was able to see a toddler walking at night? And, and if you watch the video, it took like forever for her to pull over. So did she pass the toddler? Did she see the toddler from a distance? And then after she allegedly stopped to ask the toddler, are you okay? Where was the abductor to be able to snatch her so quick while she was on the phone? Was this person in the woods? Are those woods on the side? Was he, you know, lurking and waiting in the woods for someone to grab her in the woods? And I really don't think she would have, would have returned 48 hours later. I think she probably just came home because she was hungry. You know, her stomach was playing tags with her back. She wanted something to eat. So she found her way home, right? But this is somebody that just wanted some attention. So where was the abductor? And notice, I read about seven or eight articles, even watched videos and listened to the interview of her parents. And of course, you got parents that's going to protect their daughter, even if the daughter is lying. But have you guys noticed that no one has given a description of the abductor? There was no sketch artist that sketched out the description that she gave of the alleged abductor. Now, there was an update recently that stated they viewed the cameras on the highway and they didn't see no traces of a baby of a toddler or her being abducted. So this is just somebody that was seeking attention. And I think that they, st they should start prosecuting more females that do this nonsense. Because you got females that will lie with the quickness, man. They will lie. They would make up a lie on a guy, man. Mess up his life. Destroy his life. And in many cases, they don't even have to know the guy. So what if she gave a description of this so-called abductor and then they end up snatching up somebody, some innocent dude. I don't know. I mean, because from what I hear, she said the baby was white. So a, a, allegedly, or I guess somebody was using a white baby to draw her in. And usually if you're driving down the, uh, the highway and you see a toddler walking, 
several cars are going to pull over to assist as well. They're going to see you on the side of the road and people will stop to assist you. But none of that took place. And from looking at that video, when she pulled over, there was no baby. There was no toddler. They didn't even show when she got out the car. And the poor girl left her wig, man. This girl was so... She, she had thought this out to the point where she even left her wig. And especially her Apple Watch being in her purse. So this was just for attention. This is somebody that wanted everybody to, 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 to gather around her and, Oh, Carly, we miss Carly. We love her so much. Carly, Carly, Carly. You ever, you ever, you ever see these people that's in a relationship and dudes, I remember guys used to do this all the time. Like when they were younger, man, they get, I, I guess they start feeling some kind of way and then they call their girlfriend and act all sad and depressed and say they're going to kill themselves and then hang up the phone and have the girlfriend all worried and whatnot. They say that the first person she called was her, was it her boyfriend's sister or somebody like that? But why? So this was all a lie. It was just for attention and I never believed it. And I didn't even waste my time talking about it. A lot of people are talking about it on the internet, but it's a lie. You know, I mean, just from the very first article, when they start talking about what they found, you know, when they found her wig and they found her cell phone and she, they found her Apple watch in her purse, all of the items that can track her, she left. And then she had the audacity to come showing up 48 hours later on foot and nobody's talking about a baby. Nobody's talking about the abductor. There's no type of what did he look like? Now the article said that the police is pursuing or trying to find this alleged abductor, but there was no description given. And maybe I missed it. Maybe there's one out there, but I didn't see in any of those articles or videos, you know, them giving a description of the alleged abductor. So it's all a lie and you just can't believe what they say. So feedback, tell me what you think till next time. I'm fearless.